Okay, so uh, this is uh, about uh, the use of the hi hat, and one uh, point I want to make is uh, while I was playing that disco rhythm there, uh, how much movement was there in the uh, hi hats? Well, you could clearly see not very much. Uh, it was only going up and down slightly. That's the uh, kind of sound that we want. We want a sizzle from the two cymbals. Now, there's uh, one thing you can do to set up your hi hats underneath here. On a lot of hi hats, there is a uh, tilt screw, and what that does is tilt one the bottom symbol over a little bit so that when the two symbols do come together uh, they're not uh, exactly uh, flat to each other uh, because they tend to trap the air if that happens. Uh, what it tends to encourage is for the two symbols when they're loosely in contact with each other is to sizzle. Which is what we want. What a lot of drummers do when they're playing uh, these um, hi-hats is to tend to move the hi-hat too much so you get this. And uh, playing it with uh, less movement gives you a better sound. We're only lifting that hi-hat up. Just a little bit. Just a few millimetres and it's enough to relax, it's basically relaxing your foot on the foot plate. So that's the way to practice it, just sit there going. And listen for that sizzle, that's what we want. Um, otherwise the open hi-hat where the top cymbal just rings on its own, uh, doesn't sound as good, but uh, you'd be surprised how many drummers I've come across who uh, do play like that. So uh, it's not just a case of disco rhythms, it's a case of uh, the open hi-hat can be used for all sorts of uh, different things. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to play some uh, quick uh, fills now and uh, featuring an open hi-hat and uh, um, you'll see what I mean. Uh, it never comes right up like that, so here we go. And uh, what I, another word I like to use is is, is sizzle, uh, singing. There's a singing and when those cymbals are doing that, they're singing. So uh, for playing swing as well, um, uh, I remember my grandfather used to play like this. Yeah, that's really what we're on. sizzle. The problem is when you're teaching yourself to do it is teaching poor old brain to get that foot to move in a just a short distance to get the old sizzle there. So it's all a matter of training. So uh, uh, get stuck in with a bit of practice and your hi-hats will sound better once you can make them sizzle and sing.